is 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 13, 2023. I'm going to open up the Hadley Conservation Commission meeting here tonight. First on the agenda is request for determination of applicability, 32 Shattuck Road. The food of Western Massachusetts seeks to construct a drainage ditch that will run from the agricultural field to an existing drainage ditch that runs along the southern edge of the property. The site is an APR farm. Site visit was conducted on 524 by Kayla. Bro, bro, you No, it's on. Very nice. Okay. So, who is here to present for the food bank? Go ahead. Present more Okay. Appreciate it. Uh, yep. I. Uh, when we uh, several years ago, back in 2020. Uh, engaged with the USDA and RCS and they came out and uh, did a, um, a wetlands determine or what they call a preliminary technical determination of the uh, property and um, they determined that none of the areas that uh, we intend like to dig the ditch uh, violate the Food Security Act, uh, meaning they had been previously farmed prior to 1985, so we wouldn't be disrupting or violating that um, that law because it had been in uh, active agricultural production prior to 1985. Uh, so we and we've been actively uh, mowing it since and uh, unable to to actually farm it because it's too wet. So that for that reason, we'd like to try to dig a ditch that would drain into the existing irrigation ditch to the south at the um, property line between uh, the food bank's property and uh, the dive. Dysex property of Maple Land Farm. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we then had uh, someone from NRCS come out and design uh, a, a ditch. Um, and the copies of that were all um, hopefully circulated. And um, uh, in the interim, uh, we uh, had an, ir um, an irrigation system put in by a contractor, uh, Terra Moore out of Belcher Town, um, and um, they did a, a fine job, and, and NRCS recommended that they would be qualified to dig this ditch for us. So we're seeking uh, permission from the Conservation Commission and ultimately, I guess, BDP to uh, approve it. Uh, we did submit an application for this a um, couple of years ago to the town of Hadley. Apparently, we submitted the incorrect form um, and it was denied by DEP, but since then we retained a consultant who submitted the correct form and has been in contact with Mark Stinson and DEP, who indicated this was what the correct form to uh, fill out and submit is. And um, So what form was that that was rejected? That was, maybe you can help me out. Um, what year was it? I have a few files. Yeah, I apologize. That was... Um, I think it was a WPA form one, and that was not for a um, property that's under existing. Oh. So basically, uh, you're not near the wetlands at all? Uh, correct. If you were to look at the, yeah, the, the, there was a this report that was included from the NRCS, and they specify that none of the um, areas um, where the ditches are um, being constructed are, are wetlands. And are dike ditches uh, okay with it? Coming yeah. into it, adding adding water. Yes. To the ditch. Yeah, yeah. Are they now? You do know that a ditch is going to have to be maintained. Yeah, we know that there's a, there's a problem at the end of the ditch where it empties up into this in the the, the, the brook there. That's yeah. A, that's the big problem that uh, all the farmers are facing mm -hmm. right now, and we're hoping that that gets addressed. Right now, that ditch is pretty dry uh, because mm -hmm. it's getting, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, but is that going to make the problem worse by adding more water to it right now? That's likely to, but I don't think a significant amount. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not a hydro hydrologist. Um, is the ditch tying into an existing ditch? Irrigation ditch, yeah. Is that the one that... No, you, call it, you, call it, you call it an irrigation ditch. Well, I'm not a farmer, so you you help me out here. So it's not for irrigation? Uh, no. It's it, a drainage ditch. It's a drainage ditch. Not yeah. an irrigation ditch. Yeah, okay. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for the correction. And is that the one that goes right by Usix through his old cow pasture and... 
I oh, so. that will never get done. <laughs> no disrespect in that. Yeah. Well, I think that's the challenge, right? Yeah. Because the road is, the road is right there. Yeah. And they've been, I know that's my neck of the woods. Yeah. And uh, that ain't never going to get done. Yeah, I'm going to try to work that out right now. The town of Amherst and uh, CESA is the well, how, how how long is this dish? Uh, so I I have I didn't want to say so I'm I'm clueless here. You, yeah. You, what you, does what does the town of Amherst have to do with the Hadley ditch? Uh, only because the, this town of Hadley ditch uh, connects right at the town of Amherst line with the the brook that's near the cannabis place. This all yeah. This is all down drains down downstream. Yeah, downstream. Right. Downstream. Right. 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 Well, you, well, you, you know, know this site. Yeah, actually, I, I I was just riding out here a couple of weeks ago, so I know I, I saw all the irrigation that went in. Yeah, so I, 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 I see prior to converted. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not <laughs> understanding that for this. We have non wetland. We have prior converted. What's prior converted mean? Prior converted means it was farmed prior to 1985, and therefore it, it's exempt from the Security Act and can and continue to be farmed. Okay, as as I thought if the farm wasn't maintained for was it five years or something? Yeah, but it's been actively maintained. Been so, been Bruno, been why don't you come around here for me? Come oh, over. He's sure. Okay. He's coming over here. Yep. He even did farm. So, somebody had, somebody had, not Charlotte's or that's Charlotte's. So, in that my understanding, is, is this purple area was wetland, but it's been converted to agriculture? Prior to 1985, yes. Yeah. I don't know where we're at here. Right? Yeah. Sh Shattuck Road is over here. Yep. And this uh, Shella's uh, pig farm, uh, Sh uh, Slaughterhouse wow. is over here. Yeah. Okay. Right here. So we drive in straight here. Right. Off of Shattuck Road. Right. Of right. Shattuck. And they go go through. So basically, your drain is prior converted area. Correct. Okay. And the non wetlands. And right down to the desk. So basically, you come out here. Yeah, the green or wetlands area, but you're saying so. Mm -hmm. It was green was prior converted. Correct. And DEP has no problem with it? It's in APR as well. So the idea is that there might be agricultural exemptions. Yeah, and also prior converted. So DEP is fine with this? I mean, they haven't given, they don't give official approval to the RDA, but. But the NRCS. Now, clearly states for all these areas that you'll see. You get from the Web Conservation Prison. Yeah. For each of those areas, they identify that, that they are all uh, exempt from the Web Conservation So if we approve the state of the negative determination, correct, it's not worth coming to each area, we're not fulfilling all three dredging. Right. It's just a negative. Right. How do the neighbors feel about this project? Well, I don't know if the environment is Yeah. My neighbors, are, um, I don't think they have a problem with it because the water's going the other way towards Amherst. <laughs> I would have a problem. I mean, because you, well, you know the property better than I do. Right? You sort of go I don't. I'll go to you. I don't. I would be at once. This is Comus's Cole, Cummins. Cummins is right here. Where are you, right here. Where are you look? Right you're over. You're right I'm here. I'm over here. You're right here. This is that patch of woods over here behind um, Prime Solarski. Right. So where's right. Maple on next to this? Maple yeah, Line is right, right here. They're they're right here. This that intersection is right here. So I can't I can't see any roads. That's why I can't figure what this is. I need to figure that's it out. Right. Okay. Yeah. So coming, and this is that's well, kind of right. Right. This is the old road that we used to go out. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Maybe that would help this change. So that's pretty yeah. far away from coming road. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But see, all this drains that way. Why don't you show me this? I got some bearings here. <laughs> okay. And we this is where the ditch is right here. Maple Lane Farm. Well, they need ditch. Evidently, there was one at one time. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. know. I think it's here. This is right here. Yeah, this is the only ditch one. And that is the low spot? Yeah, that's the low spot right there. That's what we're here. Okay. So, evidently, and I again, I use the term lightly. cuts across here. There must have been a ditch at one time. I don't I think so. This. Are you happy with splitting that field in half? Or, you know? Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to, if, if you plow it, you're going to have to lift up your plow and go around it. Right. Right. Yeah. Same thing. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yep. like, and this side. What is that? And then this yeah. ditch, Dysex ditch, 
So where's this part right here? It needs to be that clean. The, the, you get a new thing. Grass, water way, or a ditch. Yeah, have to be maintained on a regular this, basis. Yep, line yep. right here. Yeah, yeah we actually had it. Uh, so we got permission from so from the from this body uh, a year or two ago to to, to maintain it to mow it because right. it hadn't been for a while. So well, you have to dredge it. Yeah, we'll have to. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and uh, would we need permission to do that, or it's an existing? Uh, it, it, what as long as you do not. Add a structure or add a crossing. Add go deeper or go shallower. Okay. You can't do those three things. There's three things that you can't do, and I got those from Alexander. Basically, you, you're cleaning out the vegetation, but you're not you're changing the grades. Wow. Ah, okay. Yeah. You got to you got to maintain the consistent the vegetation. Grade. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So basically, if you, if you come around over here, you make sure. sure. Uh, I can so, be upside down. So. This, this line right here, is that right here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So the weather is like this. this is the, is the dark, dark green. Yeah, dark, dark green. Dark green, yep. Okay, so that's in the green 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 right there. So basically, you're going to a ditch right down right through here. Exactly. Yep. Right there. Yep. You got so it. you've walked, you know it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think everyone on the board is in agreement with this. Yep. I don't know. We've ever proved of them. No need a ditch. We've always maintained them, but not created one. Yeah, well, obviously they're allowed to do it. One of all the documents they present us. Yeah. So I'm not the expert in DEP has to come out of that. So I would really think DEP would have to say something about this. Well, they, yeah. they told me before to use the wrong form, but they, 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 this is a bit, they're fine with this form. Yeah, but our consultant, uh, you know, talked with Mark Stinson. He said so this is well, like, he was all about this. He, he's retired. Okay. He came yeah. back. He came back. He's back. back. Oh, no. He did fire. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. He did back soon, Chuck. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be sure why. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was history. Okay, so I'm going to look for a, a motion for a negative one determination. Uh, what is the, whether the work depicted on plans reference below is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act? And C and D, correct? Negative one. Negative negative one. What's the reason for it being so wet there? Most farmland drains. So is this considered within 100 feet of the wetland zone, the buffer zone? Um, I don't have a scale. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I, I think I think it's a negative three. <clears throat> That's great because I think it is within the buffer zone. Yeah, I think it is within the buffer zone. Part of it, might be. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're we'll about to say so. I'm going to go for a negative three determination. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we need any other further conditions on that one. Well, you got to realize that you're living in Hadley and you're going to be doing all your work in a goldfish pool. Mm -hmm. So yep. make sure all the precautions are done. Yep. Uh, and you, you seed it down and things like that. And try not to, uh, you know, lift up your equipment. So you, 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 basically, you got to make sure it, it, it's graded properly, the ditch, so it all drains. You don't get. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we. I mean, we've been trying to be very careful. We got the NRCS in here mm -hmm. guiding us every step of the way. So they're going to be guiding us. Okay. Yeah. And there's no. This what? How far away is this wetland boundary from the from the ditch? From the red line to there? Could be within a hundred feet, probably. In some places. At some point, certainly in the beginning, maybe. That's why we call it the buffer zone. And there's no. We got to drain this wetland by putting this ditch right up, right next to the wetlands. There's no way of this going like this and coming around and draining this. They're going through the park inverted area. They're going through this, but this is wetlands. Yeah. What to put it? We're not going. We're not. It's not crossing the wetlands at all. No, I know it's, it's not crossing the wetlands. Yeah. Right. But they're they're within a short distance of of a of wetland. Yeah. Right. But well, because it's prior converted, prior to 1980. It's already what they're draining. They're probably going to drain you know, so much water than whatever. No, they're agricultural. So I'm looking for a motion for negative three determination. So move. Second. Second. No, who's second? Second. Second. Right. Okay. Um, any further discussion? 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Everyone see? Uh, I'm going to abstain just because I don't really know enough about this. He's going to abstain, but Ray, Edwin, and Gary, yeah, mm -hmm. voted for it. Right. It carries. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. We should love. Yeah, thank you. I hope you, what are you, are you planning on putting stuff in this year? No, not this year. Not okay. this year. Yeah. Okay. This, this probably won't happen until uh, when it plays out a little bit more. Yeah. 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 Fall. Yeah. And you've got to work on hammers to get them to no, do the. Yeah, ditch. we're going to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a big problem for. Like the Isaac, you know, oh, it's a problem for everybody. For everybody, yeah. Everybody. It affects you as well? No, it doesn't affect me, but it affects my cousin. Yeah. And it affects the, the uh, food. Uh, there's a farm there. Uh, yeah. uh, with greenhouses. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And it affects them and it affects uh, the vines and every, everybody. Yeah. Apparently, it's very personal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not surprised, huh? No. Yeah. Well, so, do we have plans for how they're going to replace the Roberts? Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the agenda is Rosewood Senate, UMass North Village Apartments Culvert Replacement. On behalf of UMass Amherst, SWC requested after the fact permit for installation of underground you don't utility conduit. Design plan including new culvert design and restoration plan. Resources present on the site include bordering vegetated wetland, bank, and riverfront area. Play visit was conducted on 510 by Kayla Lubrat and on 66 by Kayla and myself. So, is there here someone here to present for this? For good evening, commissioners. We have a file number now of 170 0293 for this project. We received since uh, we posted the hearing. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen McDonough with SWCA Environmental Consultants. I am a professional wetland scientist and certified wildlife biologist, and I'm here representing the University of Massachusetts. As you just noted, this after-the-fact notice of intent has a DEP file number of 1700293, and this is related to the installation of new conduit within an existing gravel utility roadway to bring power to North Village Apartments in Amherst from the university campus's uh, physical facility in Hadley. Um, EMAS has an existing order of conditions valid through September 2024. The file number for that is 170266, and that's related to ongoing operation and maintenance on campus. Uh, one of the special conditions includes the requirement for the university to provide the Hadley Conservation Commission with prior written notification for any work related to utility maintenance or installation. Um, the university failed to provide the commission prior written notification when they installed that conduit from the physical facility up to the North Village Apartments on that gravel road. Uh, there was work within the 35 foot buffer zone, which is regulated under the Hadley bylaw and riverfront area. That activity, as I said, would have been exempt with prior written notification. However, failing to provide that notice was an oversight. Uh, there was no work within resource area. There were no impacts to resource area. All of the work occurred within the existing gravel road, and there was no expansion of the gravel road, and there was no enforcement issued by the Hadley Conservation Commission. Um, following that work, once that came to light, the previous wetland agent for the Hadley Conservation Commission, Shyla Davis, together with the Mass DEP, walked the site to review the area and make recommendations for next steps on November 2nd, 2022. Uh, during that site visit, the Hadley agent and DEP requested an after the fact NOI be filed for the conduit placement work and they requested a few mitigation items, including the removal of an old agricultural building uh, pending appropriate erosion controls were installed prior to and during the building removal. Uh, they requested improvements to two culverts that were identified during that site walk, which were in need of repair, and additional stream bank uh, restoration for uh, stream bank erosion right at the town line. Uh, the purpose of this after the fact notice of intent is to present the mitigation discussed at that November site walk to the commission 
and to improve the existing conditions as previously discussed and agreed upon between the, the issuing authorities and UMass. And I can do a screen share if you want to review plans or a site uh, overview figure. No, I understand it's also some of this project is also an Amherst. Yes. Yep. So the, the purpose of the project was to put in the underground conduit between the UMass physical plant, which is right by Cold Storage Road and Forestry Way in Hadley, all the way up past the Amherst town boundary to the North Village Apartments. So part of this filing does include a culvert replacement, but that is within Hadley. I mean, Amherst, sorry. Okay. Or perennial stream. Does, does it have the same file number in Amherst or a different file number? It has a different file number because Amherst file numbers start with 089, I believe. Yeah, yeah makes sense. But the, but the comprehensive notice of intent that was filed in NOI, uh, 2018 does have a different file number for Amherst as well. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I can get that for you if you want it. So there's a new file number and an old file number for the operation and maintenance comprehensive NOI. Do we have them on the attendance sheet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can start first with the comment letter back from the DEP that you responded to. Sure. Concerning uh, the category of the, for the fees. You want to discuss that? Sure. So DEP issued a comment letter. It was the same for Amherst as it was for Hadley. Uh, the first comment was they recommended that we that they recommended that the commissions consolidate between Amherst and Hadley um, because really it is one project, although there are two different jurisdictions and there really are two different project descriptions for each town. I mean, we're doing a major culvert replacement in Amherst, but not in Hadley. Um, so Amherst requested the culvert be replaced at a perennial stream crossing to meet the existing Massachusetts stream crossing standards. And that's a pretty significant that's a pretty significant project. Um, in Hadley, we don't have anything near on that level. And then their second comment was, um, they recommended that we consider filing this as an ecological restoration limited project. And my response to that was that we consider limited projects kind of more associated with larger projects like mass DOT roadway expansions or dam removals um, and they involve natural heritage review, and there is no priority habitat on this portion of the campus. And often limited projects don't need to meet all of the performance standards under the Wetlands Protection Act. And this project was able to meet all of the performance standards. So I can't speak for Mark. Uh, maybe he was trying to do us a favor, but I, I don't, I can't speak for Mark. I discussed this with Kayla earlier, and I think we're fine with the fee that you paid for Hadley project. Okay. Um, so basically, do you want to discuss the two culvert being replaced? I, I know when we walked the site, it looks like all the work's basically being done in the road except for the head walls. Yes. Um, so there were two culverts that were identified in that November 2nd site walk with DEP and with Shiloh, the previous agent. Um, both of them are sedimented and one of them is partially crushed. So one of them that we're proposing to replace is an eight inch pipe, eight inch diameter pipe, and it's being upgraded with two 12 inch diameter pipes. Um, and the other one is there is proposed upgrade to the head wall. So you're only, replacing, you're only replacing one culvert pipe? Yeah, so technically the second one doesn't, it doesn't have a stream associated with it. And to be totally honest, the first one, we flagged it as stream bank, but we've been out there in September, October, November, January, and March and not seeing any stream flow. So it looks like it's a drainage swale, to be totally honest. There is obviously some scour there, um, but we have not seen any surface water during any of our site assessments. So we called it stream, but that's a really conservative estimate. Um, so you're replacing a one inch culvert with two 12 inch pipes? Yes. Quite an increase. 
Yeah. Especially for a brook that doesn't have any water in it. Well, that, yeah. And and it's, you know, to improve aquatic connectivity, flood floodplain connectivity, uh, stream flow capacity, habitat. So you want to screen share which, which pipe that is? Sure. Sorry, I don't know why this won't go away. Anyone know how to make this pop up go away? <laughs> no, but but Chris and uh, I'm sorry, it's Tom, and uh, I'm sorry to interject, but oh. it was my understanding that they're they're hard to see because of the dilapidated nature, but it's my understanding that there's two eight inch uh, sections there. Oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you for correcting me. And yeah, they are heavily vegetated. So this is what we're calling culvert one. And so mm -hmm. this is the existing two, as Tom corrected me, eight inch diameter pipes that are being upgraded to two 12 inch diameter pipes. So, you know, there's- And, and we did um, replace those, sorry. And Darren's, uh, that's a, the culvert is closest to uh, the cold storage road or whatever. We, we, we drove in. There's two culverts, but this is the first one as we drive in? Yeah, um, I think that one is right on this bend. So here's that parking lot where we met. You can all okay, see my screen, yeah. correct? Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's the first one. And then... What is further down? So go back yep. to the other screen. The one you just had. Show us where the second one is there. Actually, I need to have the wetland delineation oh, yeah, shown. Hang on, let me pull up the wetland delineation figure. PDF's open slow. Sorry, in advance. I thought it was like a full spin. It was, wasn't it? I thought it was like a car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that's wetland 11. So this is the second one. This is culvert two, right here. Okay, where's culvert one in the picture here? And then this is stream five and stream six. Mm. I'll show you on the aerial in just one second, as soon as I locate it. Oh, and then this this is culvert one here, and this right. is culvert two here. And so just to reiterate on that ortho, it's right at this turn right here. So this is one and this right. is two. That one, it's the first corner right there. Yeah. Correct. That's what I thought. I saw that one, it was pretty heavily vegetated. You can see where that one's crushed in. Yeah. So you say, Tom, there's two English pipes there already, but we couldn't see the second one probably? Well, I think I think you can see it, and uh, so we intend to replace it with the twelve inches. It's it's better for us to get those sections. We're going with a thick wall concrete pipe because of the very shallow cover, cover um, at that section of, of the road. Are you so you're not putting any type of head walls in for the pipes, just laying them dead end? No, we like we've suggested a head wall on the upstream and flared end on the downstream. Okay. But there's minimal impact in the wetlands there. Most of the work is the, you, do, you didn't have the road. Because the pipe basically is the same width as the road. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and we lot. think it's going to sit in the same footprint. Okay. I call repair and maintenance replacement. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that one. And the second one, you're just going to be doing, I know there's a lot of scouring on the second one, on the south side where it's outflow. Well, yeah, it doesn't look quite right there. There there was a plastic, there was an HDPE flared in. I think what we'd like to suggest is cut the pipe back a little bit, put a concrete flared in, reset the riprap that was there, 
and put a, um, a, a precast head wall on the upstream side right along but outside of the wetland flag series 112. Okay. So minimal wetland impact basically. Correct. Okay. And then I'll also just reiterate that the, um, the old agricultural building that was requested to be removed has already been removed, but erosion controls are still on site. Um, so pending the commission's opinion, we can pull those whenever you agree that that looks stable enough. We can look at that cable. Okay. Yeah. So you propose any special conditions for doing this work? Any erosion barriers or anything like that? Or Yes, we do have an erosion control detail um, and we described that in the notice of intent text as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other board members like comments? Mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah. Well, I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. And we'll be closed. And we made a motion to close it. Like a second by Steve. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 So I'm all set and going ahead and order, issuing an order of conditions for this notice of intent. And we'll go with all their existing control they have on the plan for erosion. Yeah, they all set in the fire chain. Okay. I look for a motion. I move that we accept that. Um, okay. Motion. Second. Let's see. Is there a discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. So we'll get an order, order conditions out for you shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have anything to add. Or do you have something? Hello, Jim. So you guys wait for us. All right, I think we're all set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next up is Notice of Intent 105 Stockbridge Street on behalf of Folk of Grace Farm of the UMass Stockbridge School of Agriculture. Learner Consulting seeks to perform grading and stormwater improvements for the horse farm. This is in a buffer zone only and contains NH ESP priority habitat. But we don't have a file number for the check, do we? No. So that's the updated uh, version of that intelligent emergency. No, this no, is no. a no. new stock version. So uh, I'm going to look for a motion to continue the hearing through July 11th at 630. We hear back from DEP. Yeah. We have a file number. We have any comments. All right. Okay. Sounds good. And I have a motion for that. I make a motion. We continue it till July 11th, 11th, 6 30. Uh, 30. Second by. I'll second it. Edwin, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Unanimous. All four of us. Okay. We'll move on to the next emergency permit, 14 Hockenham Road. Permit authorized removal of Beaver as Beaver Dam was causing flooding to property. In town water supply. Um, so I issued an emergency certification for the removal of the beaver and the placement of a mesh barrier near the dam. Um, and it just needs ratification if anybody has any objections. I don't have any objections to anybody. Okay. Everybody fine with the about the water health beavers oh, and water, yeah. beavers they, and water health problem. They got a, a permit from the board of health prior to the um Conservation permit. Okay, I'm yeah. good with them. Yep. So, Steve, I and myself, and Ray, we're all, we're all fine with that. So, yep. okay. Yep. Yeah. Other business vote for CPA Concom representative? Uh, yeah, so as Edwin is leaving, we need to vote, I think, Ray um, in, as the new CPA Concom representative. Okay, so obviously. I don't know if Ray can vote, but I know Edwin's going to vote yes. Probably. Yeah. It's Steve and I will. So we get a majority. Yeah. So <laughs> Steve, Edwin, and I all agree. Yep. That uh, Ray will be the. You want me to come to a. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you mean he's going to introduce everybody. Yeah. And... I'll try to remember that. Remind me about it. Okay. So.
Uh, the CPA, I, I've been informed, needs something on uh, uh, stationary, Conservation Commission stationary, saying that you're the new. Yeah, I will, I will do that. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, and then we have an application for an appointment to the board. If anybody wants to read the cover letter or application from Brandon Daniel. Is that the only one that's applied? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just waiting for the uh, general public. I don't think we have anybody in Zoom, do we? This is going to be taken to the select board, but if anybody has an objection, I'll read it. Yeah. 5-11-2023 to the Hadley Select Board and Conservation Commission. My name is Brandon yes, Daniel of 57 Roosevelt Street, Hadley, and I am ready to express my interest in holding a chair on the Conservation Commission. I currently work full-time for the Town of Hadley Water Department as a systems, system, distri system distribution superintendent. My position here for the past 12 years has taught me Many of the regulations and standards are used to protect not only watershed areas, but also wetlands and surrounding zones. I am fairly rehearsed in the Massachusetts 310 CMR 10.0, and I also have a vast hands-on understanding of the construction and excavation side of projects. Outside of work, most of my free time is being occupied in the outdoors. I am not only an avid hunter and fisherman, but I also I am a licensed trapper in the state of Massachusetts. Keeping wetlands, waterways, ponds, and rivers in their natural state away from human influence and pollution is something I take very seriously. Preserving these essential habitats is not only the protection of natural ecosystems, but also for future generations and outdoorsmen and women of Hadley. Growing up in agriculture and currently working for many, working for multiple farms and seeds and keeping Hadley a farming community is also very important to me. Preserving and maintaining land inside and outside of APRs is an absolute must for our town to continue to thrive. I look forward to hearing back from the board and commission about this open seat. Is there any questions or concerns? Please feel free to reach out to me with my contact information below. Respectfully submitted, Brandon Daniel. So I know some of the folks here on the board are familiar with him. Yeah. And how's everyone feel? Yeah, I think he'd be wonderful. Steve? Yep. Yeah. Ray? I haven't met the gentleman yet. No, but I think the I qualifications. Yes, qualifications um, are pretty good. I'm fine. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think that I can speak as a board that we're unanimous and supporting Brandon's application. Yeah, and I would let the select board know that, Kaylin. Okay. Thank you. And we're, we're happy to have him. Yep. Yeah. And, and we have somebody in the audience back here. Yes. Well, going forward, signing signing the attendance sheet here. We'll oh, take yeah. you. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Here to ask for a permit to put on a 16 by 45 lean to on a barn, existing barn on 74 Knightley Road. Okay. And there is a drainage ditch on the property. Okay. So is it, it, it is going to interfere? Is it going to, is it going to interfere? I don't believe it is. Are you within 100 feet of the ditch? I am. Okay. So probably you should file a request for determination. So we have plans to file. That will show the ditch, any wetlands, the existing structure, which you're proposing to build. The simple form. I think Kayla can yeah. provide you a copy, right? I can send you all the information in email if you write down your email on the contact sheet or your okay. phone number if you would rather me call. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the form is on the DEP website. And you'll have to send a copy to them, send a copy to us, um, include a site plan. Um, and there's a there's a whole process I can walk you through if you want me to do that now, or I could just send it an email. You can stop by the office here yeah. if you wish. It's not a uh, not like a notice of intent. It's not a bad thing, right? You small advertising, but that way we have a hearing, which you you know probably more likely make a determination if it's going to impact on a web end. But that way you you're covered, and the building inspector will be happy. All right. Okay. Thank you. But That's it. Stay in touch with Kayla. Yes. We'll help you all. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you already? Yeah. I did. I did bring up earlier in the meeting before we opened up, but I'll bring it up while we're on the session. Okay. That I've got a couple trees at the marina that uh, Steve and Ray and Edwin have seen in the past mm -hmm. that are uh, over half dead hanging over my southern dock by my house. So. I have somebody who can come in and take it down in pieces and pull it out and then ship it. Okay. 
And then I have another tree on the north end of the property up by the gas pump, by the bridge, that was severely undermined by erosion is ready to fall over onto potentially my gas dock and gas pump. And uh, we want to all, all three of these trees, we want to remove them. They won't be getting dropped into the river and leave the uh, stumps, the butts, rather than the, the most dangerous ones up one by the bridge, because if that does fall, it's about a 12 to 14 foot cliff. It'll take a big mound of dirt out of the bank and it causes serious erosion problems. So we want to mm -hmm. keep the root system in place. It's a locust tree. Yeah. But get the weight of the tree that's hanging out over the bank or over the river. Yeah. So it won't, won't cause a problem in the event of a bad storm. So if anybody else on the board, you want, okay, I, I would invite you to come by. I'll show you as well so you know what we're yeah. talking about. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. I can't believe you didn't do this years ago. Well, I wanted to find the right person to do it too. And I didn't know when to do it. Mm -hmm. Whether we got to drop it in the river and pull it up the bank. This well, person's a gas pump right there too. It's kind of like common sense. Get yeah. out of there. He's, yeah. gonna yeah. He's gonna pull it back with his grain. Yeah. We're gonna cut it and we're gonna cut it up on top of the bank. So uh, just want everyone to know that they make his phone call it. What's going on? Maybe. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and plan was replaying to our bills, Kayla. Uh, I don't have any bills, I do have minutes. Okay, I can pass them around. Uh, anybody want to read them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. is it R E D I N G at Nina? Yeah, okay, so please. The IBD yeah, scaly wrecking the G man. S -E okay. okay. Thank you. Good job. So we're looking at main minutes. Yep. Okay. And move we accept the minutes presented. I would move it. Back Second by. Second. Ray. Of the discussion I hear. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All four of us approved it. Uh updates, upcoming learning opportunities. We don't have any this okay. month. Um, other than that, any minutes? I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Is Gordon going to be appointed, right? Yeah, Gordon okay. uh, sent in this application for reappointment. I didn't know he was up to Okay, got yeah. okay. okay. yeah. that. Okay, good. Yeah. Have that. Awesome. Cool. Print it out really quickly. So you can really read it. <laughs> you can <laughs> see it's here. <laughs> that motion to adjourn? And we'll be here in seven months. Second word, 16. Yep, yep. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right.